Hello everyone. So in this video, we have a very special plant that we're going to be trying to grow. This one is known as Brachamia rockii. This was given to me by a friend from Hawaii and it was, oh my god, I, I'm so excited to be trying these. I have tried to grow these before, but not much success. I was able to get them to germinate, but uh, like I said, I was not able to do it due to the circumstances. It got, I believe, too cold and I did not make it. However, I do have an indoor greenhouse now, so I will be giving this another go. So thank you so much, Anna, for giving me these amazing seeds. I will try my best. So in this video, I have a already pre-moistened seedling starting mix. Um, I'm not going to be using what I usually use. Usually I put in a ton of perlite and pumice. This one is just going to be seedling mix, which is usually just mostly like, like a, a, a peat, soil with lots of like micro perlite uh, little pebbles in there and that's what I usually like to start off some of my plants in. I thought I was going to need a toothpick um, but that's not going to be needed. I'll show you why. I was going to put the seeds down in there and I was going to like shove them down a little bit. You don't want to put them too down uh, too deep so that's why I'm not going to be using this soil either because that soil would just it would just compact it too much. So let me show you why I won't be needing this. I do also want to mention that I have my mister over there. I will be using that. So instead of using the toothpick and the soil, I'll be using only the mister. And I have a, a Ziploc bag that I'm going to be using that I do not have in the frame at the moment. It's over there, so I will go ahead and get that. But I want to show you these incredible little seeds. So Brachamia rockii is uh, it's uh, indigenous and native to... Um, like Molokai and uh, I think a couple other Hawaiian um, islands as well. However, usually Brachamia and Cygnus, that one is usually the most, um, I'd say the strongest of them. It's the healthiest and a more vigorous growing plant. I think, uh, you know, that, that one's no longer really on the endangered list. But the Rocky Eye is falling into that category. And thanks to my friend, she's doing an amazing job in keeping these this beautiful species alive. And she was, you know, I'm fortunate enough to get some seeds from her, so I'm really excited. But look how tiny they are. They're even smaller than sesame seeds. Look, look at that, compared to my finger. It's, there's nothing. There's like nothing there. So I'm gonna be using some of these seeds. Obviously, I'm not gonna be using all of them. I don't want it to get too crowded. And then whatever's left, I'll be putting back into the envelope that she sent me. Now, I don't know if anyone knows anything about genetics, but F2. So F2 is kind of a generational thing, if that's what she is denoting. F2 is a generational thing as far as genetics goes. So we have like the parents, which are usually crossed with something. And then uh, the F1 generation is the hybrid. And usually if you mix two hybrids or you, you uh, self-pollinate the F1, you're going to get an F2. And that's usually a, I believe a three to one ratio as far as things um, for getting an offspring from the F1 generation. So F2 is like an F, a three to one. That's it, that's a little genetics lesson. Um, you can go ahead and look that up online. Just, just type in F2 generation and you'll kind of get a good idea of what that means. So without further ado, I do want to get started on planting these. I want to take a careful little pinch of these seeds. I don't have many. I just want to start sprinkling them see a couple going in there, but not many. They're just so tiny. Look at that. All I had to do was put my finger on it and just press down, and that was enough. Okay, I say one more little finger full. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's definitely good. Maybe a little less. There we go. I'm just going to... All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. The rest I will put back into the envelope. Let me set this aside and let me go get the bag. Let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. So yeah, we have everything kind of ready to go. I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. I don't know why. I mean, she does this all the time, but I think because these are so rare and I just, I, I'm in contact with her sometimes, but I know she's busy and I don't want to ask for more seeds. She's just an incredible person, and um, I'm going to go ahead and spray these down now. I'm going to take my little sprayer here, and we got to do like a little test. 
Okay, good. Just like that. Just moisten it. Don't go crazy. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I am going to moisten this bag up real quick, so let me do that. So I went ahead and moistened the bag and as well as labeled the bag as well to show kind of like what it is, just in case I kind of forget because I am starting to germinate a lot of seeds. This way I kind of, I know what is going on out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Put the Ziploc on it. One-handed, look at that guys. Look how good I'm doing. I'm proud of myself. And there we have it. That is it. So I do not really see <laughs> any of the seeds down there. They're so tiny. They're microscopic. So it's like right now, it's kind of like just hoping for the best, honestly. So I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm really hoping that they'll, they'll germinate for me. I don't know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when I used to germinate the desert rose seeds when those were new i mean when i first started those i didn't i didn't know anything about them and they did really well so i'm hoping this will do the same and i'll be able to get some baby sprouts here in a maybe in about a um, couple weeks i'm guessing so i think that's how long it took last time not too certain and i will be putting these seeds back in here save them for another time and there we have it that's it guys so <laughs> Here we go on this little adventure. Really excited for these. I really, really want these to grow super bad. I'm hoping they'll do well. And I would just love to grow this species. I do sometimes grow Brachamia and Cygnus. I would love to grow Rocky Eye. It's just be, it would just be a dream come true for me. It's one of my favorite plants. It's also known as cabbage on a stick or I think it's called a baseball uh, bat stick, baseball, something like that. Can't remember, but it definitely looks like cabbage on a stick. It's a very interesting plant, and I would be honored to grow this. And I'm so happy that my friend Anna was able to get me some seeds. I'm really, really honored. So I hope you all enjoyed this little video, and please stick around. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that uh, bell icon, and leave a comment down below. So if you'd like to see any other videos, let me know. And I'll, I mean, because I've been making videos like crazy, so I'm back on it. I want you guys to stay updated with me and hopefully we can all grow together. And this is just a fun experience. This is something I love doing. This is not a job. This is a hobby. And I would love to, you know, to you know, hear your guys' experiences as well. And that way we can all share it together and we can all, you know, just kind of work together as a community. I would love that. So I thank you all so much for being on my channel and supporting me and subscribing to me. And I have noticed that some subscribers have not really been watching. So if you can go ahead and subscribe and start, you know, staying updated with my videos, I'd really appreciate it. I've noticed that a lot of my subscribers haven't really been uh, watching me anymore. Probably my fault since I really haven't been online anymore. But I have been starting to make new videos, so I'm kind of back up and going. But I would love to see more subscribers watching because I noticed that my view count for the subscribers is down. So... I definitely want to get back on track and, you know, and I'm sorry for, I'm sorry to my entire community who I've kind of, I feel like I've let down. I've really wanted to make more videos, but I've just been kind of busy with stuff. So that's, you know, I apologize. And, you know, thank you to everyone else who's still keeping up to date and watching. It really means a lot. You guys make this channel possible. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and, you know, maybe if I can get some plants, maybe I might I might sell some or give some away, but that's that's wishful thinking. I just really want to grow these, but we will see what happens. And I'll keep you guys posted and updated. I got more seeds that are germinating too. I will be making update videos of that soon. So make sure to hit the bell icon to keep updated on that. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, guys, please be safe out there. You know, the vaccine's coming out. Just, you know, stick, stay tight. You guys got this, you know, be safe, stay healthy make the right decisions, make the right choices, you know, keep your family safe. And as always, everyone, I will see you on the next video and happy growing.